Hey guys, welcome. My name is Max Hahn. I'm the marketing director here at BuySells Technologies. It's good to have you here with us today. BuySells is a leading LTE and 5G hardware manufacturer here in the space. And we're gonna be taking a look at some of our base stations. In particular, we're gonna get started with our smallest base station that we currently have on the market today. So I'm pretty excited about this one. I could juggle it if I wanted to. Anyways, let's get started. All right, so we're back and this is the Nova 230i. It is one of our new base stations here in 2023. It is a small form factor base station about the size of a CPE. As you can see, there's my hand in case you wanted a full reference there of how big that one is. Uh, incredibly small, light, and easy to use. So this one is really for getting you up very quick. Now this is a two by 500 milliwatt base station. So a fair amount of power here. You can get about seven kilometers out of this little guy, uh, which is a little bit under four miles, give or take. It does operate in CBRS Spectrum and it is running on LTE release 15. Now it is powered by a PoE++, so you just have to run one single cord to this that is acting both as your backhaul and as your power supply here. So it does make installation super simple. Uh, in addition to that, it does come with a 65 degree internal antenna that you can see. It comes right out of this faceplate and emits out forward. Um, so this base station is really great for getting up and running very quickly, especially where you have small little clusters of users. Uh, it can be used in locations such as communities with a lot of townhomes, if you're trying to reach a, uh, a population within there. Uh, it can be great for RV parks, marinas, strip malls, basically anywhere where you don't have a whole lot of real estate to play with but you do need to connect a couple of people and get that throughput going to them. Speaking of throughput, we are able to use CBRS and use 20 megahertz channels in order to get about a throughput of 110 megabytes per second down. Um, so it's not the fastest unit that we have on the block, but it is very significant for getting that connectivity out into those areas where you need to and getting those people connected. So that's a brief overview of this unit here. If you wanna get some more information on this and take a look at the data sheet, you can find a link to the product page down in the description below. So with all that being said, let's take a look at what else is included in this box. All right, so this is the box. This is as big as this thing is shipped in. It's shipped very light. Um, we actually just got this one, as you can tell from the shipping label here. It is a brand new unit here for 2023, so let's take a look at what is inside. So right off the bat, we can see that we have our power, and here we go, our PoE power supply here. So you can actually just bring your ethernet cord in here. So that'll be supplying your backhaul, and then you got your PoE++ running out of here up to your base station itself. Uh, simply plug it in to power. This is a DC power unit, so just get that going and you are all set to go. Easy peasy. We also have this weatherproofing socket here, so this would just connect up onto the base station itself. Let me take a look at how that would flow. You just simply screw it in there, cord runs out of here, therefore it stays weatherproof and you don't have to worry about any moisture getting into that socket itself. All right, a couple other things. So we do have a mounting bracket along with the accessories to make that happen. This is all just mounting supplies down in there. I'm not gonna take that out. We're just gonna put that right back. And then last but not least, a couple of extenders and some bolts as well so you can finalize up that mount to your need. So important to keep in mind that this thing does have an internal antenna. You don't need any external antenna in order to get this to work. You just will need some end user devices that can connect to this network. So this is a CBRS unit as mentioned earlier. So it does run on 3.65 gigahertz spectrum. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me for this unboxing video. I appreciate you taking the time to join us here today. If you could, please hit that subscribe button. Give us a like, give us a comment. It always helps. Um, and share this on social media. You know, if you're in the industry and you think that other people would find this useful, feel free to give that a share. 
Thank you so much for joining us here today. Hope to see you on the next one. Bye.